Hey everyone, welcome back. So today uh, I'm going to talk about the difference between ego death and ego death. And yes, there is a difference and I will break it all down. And uh, if you haven't done it yet, please hit that like and subscribe button and that bell notification icon and uh, let's get into this. <laughs> So there are a couple different kinds of ego death when we're talking about ego death. There is the ego death that is described in, uh, in spiritual contexts coming out of India. And then there is the ego death that is experienced through um, psychedelic use, and which something can, uh, can cause a person to randomly have a falling away of ego and have that ego death experience also. But uh, to understand more about both of these topics, you have to understand what ego is and what it is not. And this is where a lot of people get confused because ego is not what people, most people think it is. It's um, some people get into thinking, oh, you know, that person's got a big ego and they use it as a descriptive. And it's not. I mean, it we can describe somebody that has a big ego, but that's not what ego is. And if you ask yourself, if you actually truly know what ego is, you know, ask yourself, well, what is ego? And if you find yourself stumbling or can't describe it, then you don't know what ego is. And that's okay, because that's what we're going to go over. All right, so ego is how we interact with the world. It is the interface between our subconscious and this world. It is our knowledge. It is uh, everything we've ever learned. It is our likes, our dislikes, our uh, biases. And it, uh, it also is designed to keep us alive. It's also a part of the inner voice that is inside of your head. All of these things are working autonomously so that you don't have to think about it. And the reason why is because it would be too complex, too complex, too complicated to be able to have to think about everything that you had to do. So if you think about it in terms of walking, when I walk, I walk. I don't really have to think about it. Everything happens exactly as, as it's supposed to. This leg lifts up, it moves forward, the body shifts at uh, center of gravity, and then the next leg uh, picks up and takes over, right? Um, and it's the same thing with, with ego. You know, we have our subconscious and it has its own language and then we have the you know the interface in between us and everything else that allows us to be able to call upon information effortlessly in order to be able to use it so if I'm talking to you I have to understand what the words are what the words mean how they're used right and I don't have to sit here and go over it like uh, like English um, you know breaking down English like or whatever language you're speaking I don't have to sit here and focus on it it just flows out of you in the exact order that it needs to flow out of you in order to be able to communicate with people right and the the part of ego designed to keep you alive uh, which includes your inner voice is almost always very negative for most people you know they have this inner voice where somebody says something to them and now they're having an imaginary argument inside of their heads or creating scenarios that don't exist because the the mind is trying to solve problems ahead of time in order to help keep a person alive now when it comes to ego death when it uh, when we're talking about um, Indian or Eastern spirituality ego death is basically the realization of the mind. It is true awakening. It is the realization that you are you are not your inner voice. You are not your thoughts. You are not your biases. Everything that you think that you know, you are none of this. That you are the awareness that is aware of the inner voice and the thoughts and everything else. And the reason why they call it the death is because you realize that the person that you think you are doesn't actually exist. It's just a series of memories and biases that's being used by the mind in order to interact with the world. And it because it also begins to lose control or does lose control uh, over you. 
because your your ego will manipulate you using everything from past trauma to embarrassing situations anything you can think of anything that's happening in your life is fair game to ego because ego itself has no morals or ethics and it's trying to stay in control because it thinks it can do a better job of keeping you alive than you can now the next kind of ego death is the ego death that uh, most people experience if they're on high doses of psychedelics which is basically where the inner voice and everything that a person's mind thinks of when it refers to itself is completely gone when this when this ego death happens uh, to a person that's on like high doses of psychedelics or even a person that just randomly has the dropping away of ego um, it's very disorienting um, because you have an awareness and your awareness is aware of everything but there is nothing for your mind to latch onto that says this is me right so you're aware of everything outside of yourself and there's no no thoughts no inner voice everything just gets real quiet and it can be freaky to a lot of people so when we're talking about ego death in spirituality we're referring to where the ego loses control of the person um, and they can see it clearly and then when we're talking about ego death and psychedelics it's the same thing but it's very short-lived and no matter which system you're involved in uh, in Eastern spiritual practices no matter what meditation for 99.999 percent of people they can have a meditation and then have a big experience and they can have an ego death very similar to a psychedelic event because the, uh, the brain dumps DMT on them um, but eventually the, the inner voice does come back and that's why the teachings talk about how you're not supposed to listen to the inner voice you know there, there's an old Zen saying that says uh, leave the front door and the back door of your mind open and let the thoughts you know come through freely but don't serve them to you which means don't entertain them don't f allow them to drag you down a thought loop uh, because that ends up getting you in trouble in that way one of the realizations that I had when I was when the idea of this video came up the, the idea of ego death versus ego death and how to describe them was I realized that I probably need to spend time breaking down the old systems so that more people can understand them and I'm gonna probably spend some time over the next year or two going over some concepts uh, that we hear in Eastern spiritual practices and breaking them down into ways that our modern Western scientifically trained minds can understand because you have to realize that 2,000 years ago um, people their minds were very open to the idea of mystical stuff powers abilities uh, dreams had meaning you know magic um, and so their brains were formed or formatted very differently and so when they spoke about stuff they spoke about them in a very mystical sense and even even uh, books like the Bhagavad Gita while they're loosely based on actual events that have happened uh, it's more of a story designed to trigger uh, realizations um, and we also find uh, books inside of the Bible that are like that where we know that those events didn't actually happen they were either considered a dream or were a story designed to teach a certain concept uh, to help with certain realizations so uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more uh, stuff like that in the coming future. If you haven't done it yet, please check out the Patreon page that I have and consider contributing to what I do. Um, as I progress over this next year, I'm really going to try and tighten up everything with uh, the videos that are coming out. I'm trying to make them more, you know, look better, sound better, etc. So I'm going to have to invest in you know more equipment and whatnot and uh, I have to figure out something for winter time because I can't be outside all the time in winter when it gets like zero degrees around in Taos so uh, I appreciate the people that, that pay attention to this and to especially if you comment you know leave me a comment it helps with um, the visual visibility for the channel and it also allows me to be able to answer questions 
and it even gives me ideas for future videos. So, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.